welcome to another video or vlog, I guess. Um, sorry if it's really echoey. I'm in my downstairs bathroom, but I decided I should just vlog what I'm doing right now. I am going to laminate my brows by myself at home with no experience. So I've been actually wanting to do this for a while now, but I just didn't feel like taking a camera out to record myself to do this. And then I finally decided just to go ahead and do it. Hair is up. I'm going to put this on. For those of you that don't know what brow lamination is, is basically like perming your eyebrows. So if you get like a lash lift, it's like a lash lift for your brows so that they just grow in the same direction. Now I usually trim my brows because if you can't tell, my brows literally grow straight down. Uh, but I haven't. I've been growing them out recently because... I knew I was going to do this video and I wanted to trim them once they were laminated. I'm going to start off, I think, by cleaning it. So I have some cotton pads and I'm just going to use some like my, micellar water. I'm just going to cleanse them. I got an eyelash perming kit from Amazon. Fortunately, I got it from Amazon Japan, so the instructions are in Japanese. <laughs> Um, but I pretty much think I got it. Like, you just glue your eyebrows in the where you want them, then put the perming solution on. The thing is, I just don't know how long you're supposed to keep them on for. Yeah, I don't know if this actually says. It probably does. I'm going to say five minutes to be safe. So, I came with some eyelash um, rods, but I'm not doing my eyelashes. I'm doing my eyebrows. So we're not going to use those things. And this is what it came with. Fit with focus. I think you're supposed to just glue them down first. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh look, the glue is actually in English. It says clear glue. I have an eyebrow brush. Should I use this for the glue? Yeah, let's do this. So let's get started. Uh, I have a mirror down here, so I'm probably just going to be looking at that. So I heard glue dries fast. So you want to work in small sections. So I just want to put the first, I'm going to do the hairs going straight up at first, just so that they perm that way. So you want to glue them down the way you want them to perm. My hairs are extremely long, which makes me look like I have a lot of hair, but in reality, I don't. So this is where it's going to get interesting because these grow straight down. So I'm trying to get them up, but they're a little hard. Okay, I think I'm going to try to start going to the side now because I don't think they need to be straight up over here. I think they just need to be like going to the side. Okay, whatever. The glue is dried already. That eyebrow is done. I'm gonna do the other one and come back. You guys, I look so freaking crazy. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it well. Look at that. This eyebrow was so hard to do. These hairs did not want to cooperate and the glue is drying so fast. So I think the next thing is to use solution one once the glue has dried. So luckily it has a one on this one. So I'm gonna use this solution. It smells exactly like perm solution. Okay, here we go. So I think you're just supposed to saturate it. Someone's watching this cringing so bad. They're like, Ashley, what the fuck are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. And you know what? You're right. Oh, I should have tested this on my skin first to make sure I wasn't going to break out. I'm making sure that's like in there really good. Looking crazy. Okay. So I'm going to saran wrap my eyebrows. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Okay, wish me luck. Time is up. Um, Google Translate isn't always the best or most correct, but I think it said I'm supposed to remove it with some type of liquid or water. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, only if like a couple pieces of hair came out and I thought I was about to wipe and like all my eyebrow come off, which is fine, you know. I mean, not fine. If it is, it wasn't going to be the end of the world. I have tattooed eyebrows on. It's not like I was going to completely freak out. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I probably would have. Yeah, so 
these ones didn't work as well. I didn't think they were because it, the glue freaking dried so quick and these ones are so stubborn. Okay, let's just move on. So step two, we're gonna put some of this on and then leave it on for five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Okay, see you in five minutes. I think there was supposed to be some type of remover that you can get. It must have been. The first one came out good. The second one, not so well, but it's not horrible. So I read with this, this should be more like malleable. So as you can see, I can like brush these up now, but if I didn't want them straight up, I could brush them down. But I think I'm gonna trim them. Although the bushy brows are in, not my thing, or at least not this bushy, so I'm gonna trim them just a little bit, just so they're not like too crazy. So I trimmed them up just a little bit. Um, they're still a little bit bushy, but I'm gonna wait to trim them more until like they've actually set. So I think I can't get these wet for like 24 hours, which means I can't go to the gym tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh, can't go to the gym. But look at that. I think it looks a lot better. At least I like it because my eyebrows are not going down. Um, the only thing is this one I kind of messed up on. I should have went slower and took my time like I did the this side. This one looks more separated. This like part right here is kind of still chunky. Okay, there you go. There's my brows. Hopefully you guys can see them better. I put the light on a little bit better. There you go. So, it's like super late and I haven't ate lunch yet. That's what I'm going to do because I am starving. Um, I wanted to make some beef bulgogi, however, they ran out of bulgogi sauce at the commissary. Like literally I went into the aisle and a guy stepped in front of me and got the last two bottles or jars of bulgogi sauce. So I'm gonna try to make my own like kind of bulgogi. What I got was like stir fry, beef stir fry. So I'm just gonna like cook this. <laughs> I put some white rice, the bulgogi, and then a little bit of green onion in it. So that is my lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. And I think I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, we'll see, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll FaceTime Justin again. You guys, because I'm lazy and didn't feel like cooking and we have like a freezer full of like frozen food um, <laughs> and we're leaving in a few months, I decided to start eating through that food. I actually stocked up during the winter because it snows a lot and I didn't want to get stuck here and not be able to drive to get food. So I stopped at the freezer and I slowly had started buying things that I wanted to eat every once in a while. But now since we're moving in a few weeks, I need to eat through that. So what I did today is because I'm lazy and not that hungry, I made some um, egg rolls. Yeah, they like P.F. Chang uh, egg rolls, I think they are, or spring rolls or something. Yeah, this is what they look like. So I just air fried them because it's literally the easiest thing to do. If you've never air fried anything, 
or if you don't actually don't have an air fryer, you need to get one, let me tell you. It is the easiest thing to use to cook. I probably use this and my Instapot the most. Well, actually, I don't know. Probably this and my Instapot definitely the most, and then like second would be my Shabu thing, because just because we eat Shabu a lot. Also, because I can use it to cook anything. I think I cooked pasta in it one time, and the spaghetti noodles like fit perfectly. I didn't have to break them. Anyways, getting off topic. <laughs> Uh, if you don't have an air fryer, you need to get one. It is the best. Bacon's the best cooked in the air fryer. We've cooked donuts, um, a bunch, whatever frozen food can basically go in here, even non-frozen food. I don't even know. People have cooked, we've cooked steak, and I think people have cooked salmon, and I'm trying to think what else we've done. We've used it a whole bunch. If you do have an air fryer, drop a comment down below and let me know. What is your favorite thing to cook in the air fryer? Mine, I don't know if I, I think mine's probably bacon, just because we use it so much for bacon. This is what our air fryer looks like. Uh, the thing's not in it. It just goes in like that. But once this dies, we're gonna get the air fryer lid for our Instapot. Well, hopefully. As long as the air fryer lid works with our Instapot, then we're gonna get it. Kobe's over here. <laughs> Say hi. I'm just a cute pup. I blend into the floor. Hi, cute boy. But I think that's it for today's vlog. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to catch Justin bef when he wakes up before I go to bed. I don't know if that's going to actually happen. Well, thank you so much for watching my lonely vlog today. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.